Okay, if you're watching this video, that means that you've kind of already done the top part where you just combine like terms and it said simplify and evaluate. That video is actually on showme.com. That's my fault for kind of mixing things up. So we're going to move on down to the bottom of your notes where it says just simplify. And what I want you to remember is your properties. So the first thing that you're always going to do is distribute. That is always going to be your first step. And you need to distribute whatever is outside of the parentheses. So if you're looking at number three, the number that is outside the parentheses is actually a negative seven. Do not lose the sign. So the five doesn't really matter and we would just bring it down. The negative seven is what we're going to distribute. So we would do negative seven times two. So that would give me negative 14 and then we have the n. Then we would take the negative 7 and multiply it times a positive 1. And that would give me a negative 7. So now you're ready to do the second step which is always going to be to combine like terms. So if we're looking at this, this 14n doesn't really have anything to go with it. But the 5, which is positive, and the 7, which is negative, actually do go together. So we would do 5 minus 7, and that would give us the negative 2, and then we have the negative 14n. Now, I almost always write my variables first, but in all honesty, it does not matter. So, negative 14n minus 2. Good. So, now let's look at, at um, well, that should make it where you guys can do number 4. Again, just watch your signs. So, remember the number that you're going to be distributing is the negative 5. And then make sure when you do the second half, this negative 5, that this is a negative 3n. Well, I've already started, so we might as well do this one. So again, the first step is to distribute. And again, we're going to distribute a negative 5. Over here, we distributed a negative 7. So then the 2n, I just bring it down because I didn't do anything with it. Negative five times positive six gives me a negative 30. Again, if you're not sure of your multiplication tables, make sure that you go in and get them done. Okay, put them in the calculator. Negative five times a negative three gives you a positive 15n. So this time, your 2n does have a like term. It is the positive 15n. And the negative 30 is what's kind of off by itself. So if we put these together, 2n plus 15n is 17n. And then we have minus 30 at the end. So now I want to look at number 6. Um, on number six, the one thing that we need to, sorry, I forgot to write this step, uh, notice is that this time there's two sets of parentheses. So on the first set, here's the negative five that we're going to distribute here and here. But then on the second one, there's just this negative sign. Well, this is still a number that's outside the parentheses. There's an invisible one that sits right there. So this is going to be negative 1 times 6 and negative 1 times 4y. So we actually have two numbers to distribute. So again, our first step here, we are going to distribute negative 5 and a negative 1. So this would be negative 15y, that's the negative 5 times 3y, 
and then we have a negative 5 times a negative 7 which is a positive 35. On the second set we have negative 1 times 6 which is negative 6 and then a negative 1 times a positive 4y which is a negative 4y. So now remember the next step is we're going to combine like terms. So this is a negative 15y and here is a negative 4y and then here in the middle we have a positive 35 and a negative 6. So that's what would go together. So if we put the like terms together, negative 15 minus 4 is negative 19y and then we have a positive 35 minus 6 which would be a positive 29. So these are your answers for this type of problem. So you should be able to work the other two. That being said, let's flip over and look at the back. On the back, they're wanting you to now combine both sets. They want you to simplify it first and then evaluate for whatever value they give you. So I'm going to go down and do the hard one, number 10, and then you can come back and do um, 8 and 9. So again, remember our steps. The first thing that we want to do is distribute. So in this case, there are two sets of parentheses, which means we should distribute two different numbers. On the first set, you should notice that it's a negative 2. On the second set, there's that funky just a negative sign, which is a negative 1. So we're going to distribute, oh, there's my ESPN. So the 10 just stays where it is. We just bring it straight down. Now we've got a negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 4, which is positive 8. And then we have the x. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. And then a negative 1 times a negative 2 is a positive 2. So we've distributed negative 2 and a negative 1. Now we're going to combine our like terms. So 10 goes with the negative 6. That has an x, that has an x, with the 2. And then we have a positive 8x and a minus 3x. So if we combine 10 minus 6, which is 4, plus 2, that would be back up to 6. And then 8x minus 3x is 5x. Now again, I said I usually write my x first, and in this case, I didn't, okay? So this is the part of the instructions that say simplify. The second part of the instructions tell us that then we are supposed to evaluate. So that means now we're ready to substitute in what it says. So up here, it tells you that x is 4. So I'm going to take it and plug it in to this simplified equation. So I have 6 plus 5x. Well, I'm going to take that negative 4 and I'm going to plug it in where x is. 
So now I can either type this directly in my calculator, exactly like it looks on the screen, 6 plus 5 parentheses negative 4, and hit enter. And I know that the answer is negative 14. Okay. The other option is that I could multiply first. So 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. So that's 6 minus 20, <clears throat> which still gives me negative 14 as a solution. This is the part of your equation that says to evaluate. So simplify it first then evaluate. Good, you should be all set to finish up these notes.